Greetings, you know who. This is a four element hybrid Moxon, two meter, that I'll be using on the mountain. I will give you the specs for it on a piece of paper. Uh, it's hard to see, but you'll figure it out. Anyways, it's just built, uh, I used 10 gauge wire on the smaller Moxons. I've used it on uh, 10, 11 meter Moxons before. Uh, 10 gauge wire will give you a uh, better bandwidth, a little, little bit more gain. But anyways, this is what's going on. I built it basically out of some old scrap pieces. Uh, these are old uh, ends of driveway markers. Um, PVC, a couple three quarter inch elbows, a T. That's what goes on. I'll be placing it on that stand right there. That stand goes up about nine feet, ten feet. Um, I might stick it up on the on the truck there. This is this will go right on to the truck. So the mast on the truck. If I'm not running a six meter beam, so I may just do that. I do have a two meter preamp which is going in the line. Anyways, blah blah blah. Whatever. Uh, this is the Moxon. I'll go ahead and get the. Here is the bag of tricks right here. So those are the specs. Um, those are all the measurements. So if you stop the video, that'll give you some starting points on where to go with this thing. It's a real crapshoot. Uh, seems to be okay. It's dialed in on 144.2, right where I wanted it. It's got tremendous forward gain, a nice back door on it, and uh, according to the field strength meter. so. And give that a shot. I'm going to give this a run, uh, see how she works. So, I figured I'd show you that. This completes the package for the 2 meter, 6 meter uh, VHF portable system. I'll be running this uh, during uh, Tropo situations and probably head up in the morning and in the evening. Uh, we are coming into Tropo time, uh, coming into springtime here in New England. So, we'll have some nice inversions happening, I assume. Assumptions are the mother of all you know what. But hey, I like making them. Uh, have fun. Build away, man. No reason to buy anything when you got some scrap wire and some pieces laying around. Uh, this thing is every bit as good as a Yagi, if not better. I'll stick my life on it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll catch you later. Alrighty, 6 meter Moxon Bill K1 Green Mountain Maniac. This is for portable use. I'll try and keep this pithy. Uh, this is a 6 meter Moxon tuned for 50.125. Um, it's pretty much bang on. Uh, 12 gauge wire, stranded, coated wire. I'll tell you why that's significant, uh, which can be tormenting. Uh, it's basically constructed on a, uh, I think that's a piece of 5 quarter, whatever, or maybe a 2 by 10, a block cut out of a 2 by 10. The easiest way to do these, I found, is to uh, run the run the calculator and put your elements all together. Okay, um, solder your feed, get your feed point figured out. Leave the wire off the framework. Uh, get your spacers, put your spacers in. This is the reflector drivers across the back. Uh, this is the or, I'm sorry, that's the reflector across the back. This is the driven element. Lay it out on the floor. What you want to do, or the ground, uh, if it's summer or whatever, grab yourself four stakes and stake the antenna in or somehow lay this wire on the ground and get the corners and get your, your lengths figured out for these lengths to the insulators. These are the critical ones, okay? Get your four corners set. Then what you can do is you can take your driveway markers, lay them, uh, take four of them, um, lay them in a crisscross pattern, end to end, corner to corner, uh, kitty corner, and then what you can do is you can drop a piece of wood on top of it and get your angles to drill your holes in. Um, it's not real critical. You don't have to get crazy over it. Uh, that's how I how I do it. It's easy. It's quick. Uh, this is one thing I like doing. Uh, my center. I always like having a center support. Make sure it's non-conductive. Whatever you do, I take a cutoff section of this driveway marker and I bring it right out. Uh, drill a hole through the center the center support and bring it right out and this is where I, I use a piece of velcro and I attach the coax to and what it does is it helps support the driven element because what will happen is the driven element will sag 
under the weight of the coax so you want some way to uh, support that I've just got to uh, straighten this out so that gives you an idea on the build uh, one little note when, when you go to cut the driveway markers off the ends off make sure you put a piece of tape around them put a piece of tape around it then cut it because so what will happen is this fiberglass will splinter uh, it tends to kind of do weird stuff you don't want it to splinter because it'll make its way down the shaft if you tape it it'll never it'll never splinter or break also don't breathe it and don't get it in your skin lots of fun um, I'm gonna break it down and then I'll show you what it looks like broken down be right back hey hey there you go let me move it into the shade the contrast is gonna be a problem there it is that is it baby there you go, 7.5 DBI gain beam, 6 meter Moxon. <clears throat> Take you literally 10 seconds to break that down. All you do is you just pull it out. I gotta, I'll gotta, i finish the hub there. It's it's gnarly looking. I may not finish it. I don't really care. As long as it works, who gives a crap? Uh, I'm not here to win any uh, beauty contests. I'm here to make things work. Amen, brother. So there you go. Boy, that's tough to beat, ain't it? 7.5 dBi gain beam breaks down like that. Uh, I mean, that's just completely stupid. You could take that and strap it to a backpack for crying out loud. The whole thing weighs maybe, what, a pound, if that. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoy. Maybe give you some ideas. Out of here, the Maniac. It's the Maniac. Here are the dimensions for the 6-meter build. Figured I'd throw these in here at the end. Uh, so go ahead. Oh, the wind. Wind is blowing. Uh, these are the dimensions I settled on for the 6 meter Moxon, just to give you guys a heads up. It's what works for me. Catch you later, 7-3. All right, this will conclude everything. That is the 6 meter Moxon on the modular setup. Um, back of the truck, I'll show you what's going on here. i got to paint it. Um, here's a tube you bolted to the spare tire carrier. Uh, can you believe it? Anybody who puts a spare tire carrier on who's a ham radio operator, you better give that some thought because that can come in handy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, just you bolted a sleeve tube to this, and the uh, mass just drops into it. Uh, welded on a uh, uh, screw here for the um, azimuth. Uh, you just tighten it down to lock it down so it can't turn. And... Uh, that locks it in place. Got to get some paint on that. Otherwise, it'll rust like crazy here in VT. So, anyways, that's it, baby. She's done. I just got to... I got to do a little tweaking on some coax. I got to build a jumper for the 2-meter... Uh, what do you call it there? The preamp. And that's it. It's pretty much done. A little paint and a little peripheral, and I'm good to go. I'd show you that. Pennies on the dollar, baby. Right off the back of the truck. Have fun. Catch y'all later. Baby.